Hello Salesforce developers and enthusiasts, we're back with another deep dive into the advanced world of Lightning Web Components LWC. In today's tutorial, we'll explore 10 more questions, tackling topics like decorators, lightning out, security considerations, and performance optimization. Whether you are an experienced developer or just getting started, this video promises insights, practical knowledge, and real-world use cases to supercharge your LWC skills. Before we take our first question of this segment, subscribe to Longswitch Academy to learn and grow with us. Let's jump in. In the first question, we're delving into the world of decorators in Lightning Web Components. Ever wondered how those at API, at Wire, and at Track Tags work their magic? Let's explore how decorators enhance our components, allowing us to build more powerful and flexible solutions. Question number one. What are decorators in Lightning Web Components, and how do they enhance component functionality? The best answer for this question would be, decorators are special annotations that modify the behavior of JavaScript classes. In LWC, decorators like at API, at Wire, and at Track enhance component functionality. For example, the at API decorator exposes a property or method to parent components, enabling effective communication between components, if the interviewer asks about a practical use case then you can use the following example. Imagine a custom navigation component that uses the at API decorator to expose a method for child components to programmatically navigate to different sections of a page. In the next question, we are venturing into the territory of lightning out. Curious about using lightning web components outside of Salesforce? Join us as we unravel the concept of lightning out. Question number two. Explain the concept of Lightning Out in the context of Lightning Web Components. How can you use Lightning Out to integrate LWC into non-Salesforce environments? The best answer for this question would be, Lightning Out is a technology provided by Salesforce that allows you to embed Lightning Components outside of the Salesforce platform and into external web applications. This enables you to extend the functionality of your Salesforce applications to non-Salesforce environments, making it possible to use Salesforce components in other web applications, portals, or websites. Here's an overview of how Lightning Out works and how you can use it to integrate LWC into non-Salesforce environments. While exposing the Salesforce Lightning components to the outside world, Lightning Out requires three elements or components. We will go through them one by one. Component number one container component you create a lightning component identified as container component that hosts the lightning web component you want to embed component number two lightning out app you create a lightning out app which is essentially a standalone lightning app that serves as a bridge between your salesforce components and the external environment component number three access token lightning out uses a secure access token to authenticate and establish communication between the external environment and salesforce this is all about lightning out and its basics subscribe now to get more insights like this one a practical use case for above question can be the following for example in a scenario where a company's website is built on a different platform lightning out can be used to embed a lightning web component such as a live chat support feature seamlessly into the existing website wondering how salesforce ensures the fortress of security around your components let's explore how the lightning locker service keeps our applications safe from potential threats question number three what is the role of the lightning locker service in lightning web components and how does it contribute to security the best way to answer this question would be the lightning locker service enhances security by isolating components in a secure javascript container it prevents direct access to the DOM and ensures that components cannot interfere with each other. This helps in preventing security vulnerabilities such as cross-site scripting XSS, attacks. Let's see a practical use case for the Lightning Locker service. In a customer portal where various components handle sensitive data, the Lightning Locker service ensures that each component is securely isolated, reducing the risk of data breaches and unauthorized access. In the next question, we're talking about extending the capabilities of Lightning Web Components by bringing in third-party JavaScript libraries. Have you ever wished to integrate specialized functionalities? Let's move on to question number four. How can you integrate third-party JavaScript libraries into Lightning Web Components, and why might you need to do so? You can answer it as follows. Integrating third-party JavaScript libraries in LWC is a two-step process. Step one. You need to import the library as a static resource in Salesforce, 
Step 2. In Lightning Web Components you need to use the Load Script utility to dynamically load and execute an external JavaScript library from the static resource. Just for your information, this Load Script utility is part of the Lightning Platform's module system. The big question here, as Salesforce is already providing so much to the developer then why do we need to use third-party JavaScript libraries? If I have to answer this then I can answer it like, using third-party JavaScript libraries may be necessary to leverage some additional functionalities not provided by native LWC or to integrate specialized charting, mapping, or animation libraries. If I have to highlight one practical use case then we can consider a scenario where a lightning web component needs to incorporate a custom chart library for advanced data visualization, and the load script method is used to seamlessly integrate and utilize the external library. Ever wished there was a treasure trove of pre-built components waiting for you? Well, there is. Join us as we unravel the wonders of the lightning component library, your go-to resource for reusable components that can turbocharge your development. Question number 5. What is the role of the Lightning Component Library, and how can it benefit Salesforce developers? The possible answer for this question can go like this. The Lightning Component Library is a centralized repository of reusable components and applications. It serves as a resource for developers to discover, share, and leverage pre-built components, saving time and effort in development. To understand the importance of Lightning Component Library let's consider a practical use case of a developer working on a Salesforce project can explore the Lightning Component Library to find a ready-to-use calendar component, reducing development time and ensuring consistency with Salesforce design principles. Before we move forward in this video, I wanted to pause and ask, do you have any questions, suggestions or doubts? If yes, then please feel free to use the comment section to dump your questions, suggestions or comments. We will try to respond to them at the earliest. Thank you for your patience with us and watching the video till this point. Without wasting a second, let's jump on the remaining questions. Optimizing performance is the name of the game. Today, we are exploring lazy loading in Lightning Web Components. Curious about loading resources only when needed? Join us as we uncover the magic behind lazy loading and understand why it's a game changer for performance optimization. Question number 6. How can you implement lazy loading in Lightning Web Components, and why is it beneficial for performance optimization? You can explain it like this. Lazy loading involves loading resources, such as images or additional components, only when they are needed. This is achieved in LWC by using the Lightning EMP API component or by dynamically creating components with JavaScript. Lazy loading improves initial page load times and resource efficiency. To understand the practical use case of this let's consider a data-intensive application. Lazy loading can be applied to load additional records or images only when the user scrolls to a specific section of the page, improving overall performance. Communication is key in Lightning Web Components. In this session, we are deep diving into the Lightning Message Service. Wondering how to make components talk without being directly connected? Join us as we explore Lightning Message Service and a use case where it shines as the preferred communication method. Question number 7. Explain the concept of Lightning Message Service in the context of component communication. Provide a use case where it is preferable over other communication methods. You can explain it like this. Lightning Message Service provides a loosely coupled, cross-DOM communication channel. It is preferable when components need to communicate without a direct parent-child relationship. For example, in a dashboard with multiple independent components, Lightning Message Service can broadcast updates without components being tightly coupled. You can consider the following as the practical use case for the above. In a real estate application, when the user updates the filter criteria in a map component, the filtered results can be broadcasted using Lightning Message Service to update other components, such as a property list or a chart. Accessibility Matters Today, we are discussing the crucial topic of implementing accessibility features in Lightning Web Components. Wondering about the considerations for making your components inclusive? Join us as we explore the how and why behind creating web applications that everyone can use. Question number 8. What are the considerations when implementing accessibility features in Lightning Web Components, and why is accessibility important in web development? The best explanation for this question would be, accessibility in LWC involves considerations like using semantic HTML, 
providing alternative text for images, ensuring keyboard navigation, and testing with screen readers. Accessibility is crucial to ensure that web applications are usable by individuals with disabilities, promoting inclusivity and compliance with accessibility standards. The best practical use case for understanding the importance of accessibility would be a healthcare application. When the developers implement accessibility features, they ensure that the users with visual impairments can navigate and interact with patient records, fostering equal access to vital information. Optimizing performance for large datasets is a must. Join us as we explore techniques to make lightning web components lightning fast when dealing with substantial amounts of data. Discover why performance optimization is essential for delivering a seamless user experience. Question number 9. How can you optimize performance in lightning web components for large datasets, and why is it essential for user experience? The best answer to this question would include the following. Performance optimization techniques include using pagination, implementing client-side caching, and leveraging asynchronous operations. Optimizing performance is essential to provide a responsive user interface, especially when dealing with large datasets, preventing sluggish behavior and enhancing the overall user experience. If I have to mention a practical use case for this then I would consider an e-commerce platform. Optimizing performance for large product catalogs ensures that users can quickly browse, filter, and search for products without delays, leading to a positive shopping experience. In the next question, join us as we revisit Lightning Out and explore how it enables us to seamlessly integrate LWC into non-Salesforce environments. Question number 10. Explain the concept of Lightning Out in the context of Lightning Web Components. How can you use Lightning Out to integrate LWC into non-Salesforce environments? You can explain it like this. Lightning Out allows you to embed Lightning Components in non-Salesforce web pages. It provides a way to use Lightning Web Components outside of the Salesforce platform. By including a Lightning Web Component in an external web page, you can leverage the power of LWC in diverse environments. To highlight a practical use case for this we can consider a scenario where a company's website is built on a different platform. Lightning Out can be used to embed a Lightning Web Component, such as a live chat support feature, seamlessly into the existing website. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through advanced concepts in Lightning Web Components, from understanding the magic of decorators to harnessing the power of Lightning Out. We've delved into security, integration with third-party libraries, and strategies for optimizing performance. As you embark on your own coding adventures, remember to experiment, apply these concepts, and continue evolving as a Salesforce developer. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into advanced Lightning Web Components. Your time, engagement, and thirst for knowledge fuel our passion for creating valuable content. Your support motivates us to continue delivering quality content. Until next time, happy coding, and may your lightning web components shine bright.